Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to show you how to password protect your photos and videos on iOS. So the application we're going to be using is called Secure. When you first enter Secure, you'll be asked to enter a PIN, password, or pattern in order to enter the application. So I have a PIN, and now I'm in the application. So here you can see photos and videos. So I'm going to go to photos, and here you can create a new folder. Ads will pop up once in a while. So here I have photos that I've added. If you want to add photos, you just tap on the plus sign. And here at the bottom, you can add photos from your photo gallery. You can take a photo within the app. If you tap on this globe, it'll take you to a secure web browser. And so if you're in a site that has a picture, all you have to do is tap on the save icon at the bottom and that'll save the photo. From back in this menu, you can also import videos. Uh, if we go to memories, all that does is it separates your photos and videos by date. Here in file transfer, this allows you to transfer files from your PC or Mac uh, back to your device, uh, just back and forth. So all you have to do is turn this on, enter this IP address into your browser, uh, enter your password, and then you'll be able to add and access files. Here under settings, you'll find a few security features. So here you can see security credentials. Here you can set up your password, pin, or pattern. You can recover your credentials in case you forget them. That means you'll have to enter an email. Uh, here's a feature called decoy mode. So if you enter decoy mode, all you have to do is enter a fake pin. And in case someone is really persistent about getting in the application, you can give them that fake pin. And when they open the application, it will be completely empty. Uh, if you enter it with your password, your real password, then you'll see all the photos that you have uploaded. Here under theme, you can change the color of the application. Uh, panic switch is another cool feature. So in panic switch, you can enable one of these gestures. And what it does is it quickly switches out of this application to one of your choice. So switch app to, you can choose between Safari and App Store. So I've picked Safari. Uh, if you want to enable any of these three, shake, face down, or palm on screen, you'll need to purchase them. Uh, you can do that for $2.99. So I chose Flick. So all I have to do is flick the device. And there you can see that it takes me directly to Safari. Okay, and I have one more thing to show you guys. If you go on more, you can see this is called Hack Attempts. So in Hack Attempts, you can see photos of anyone that tries to enter the wrong pin um, trying to access the application. So here you'll be able to see the date, the time they tried to hack into your account, the pin that they used, and it'll take a picture using the front-facing camera. With all these features, you should be able to keep all of your photos and videos secure within the application. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgetx. All right, thanks, guys.